Hi, I'm Joshua Jones, director at Studio Zinger. I'm pleased to have the opportunity to share with you some digital tools that we leverage uh, to communicate internally and also with clients. I feel like I always have the most fun designing when I'm drawing. And so whether I'm in my hand sketchbook or my iPad sketchbook, I always find myself drawing conclusions. That really helped to inspire the idea to share five tips for rapid ideation and more folio trace. So here you see I'm using an iPad Pro and an Apple Pencil. I'm going to start a new sketch and bring in my background content to draw over all at the same time by using Google Drive and simply importing a PDF background into Morfolio Trace. So as I'm in my Google Drive app, I simply navigate to the location where I can select the file. And this project is a container cutters that I'm working on that I need to design a roof for. And so I simply go to that file. And in this case, I'm gonna use a section as my background. Using the ellipsis button that comes up in the upper right hand corner, I just select on open in, select on Morfolio trace, and it will automatically bring this in, create a layer for it and allow me to get into my drawing environment. The next tip is to set up your brushes so that you have a sequential line weight and a little bit of variety. The first four elements of my palette are set to the exact same pen, but each one of those has a specific line weight. So I usually start at the lightest line weight, which might be 0.5 or in that range. The next one is probably about double that and the next one is four times that, and then I go to about 1.5 times. So this is really up to you, but I recommend, uh, as you see, I can use my lighter lines for detail, I can use my heavier lines for profiles and edges, and then my heaviest lines are gonna be for a certain level of hierarchy. So with this setup, I can quickly work back and forth between any of my line weights and begin to get quick definition into my drawings as I go. Since we save time and trace by automatically importing our base imagery, we put ourselves in a position to take advantage of drawing shortcuts. This base imagery gives us a reference point where we can begin to quickly generate a visual communication of ideas. At this point, I'll start to use some of my hard line tools. Um, in terms of my triangle and my ruler to begin to identify ground plane and key elements that have a certain architectural hierarchy so that I can begin to diagram and sketch very quickly. I use a good bit of regulating geometry to begin to make design decisions. So as I go through my process, I can actually move the angle of the triangle to be 45 or 30 or 15, or use that variable angle like an adjustable triangle so that I can begin to construct uh, the space and the base of what I'm gonna diagram on top of, paying special attention to um, key boundary edges or details that I know I'm going to need in the future. And selecting these items usually comes with a good bit of trial and error. So now that I have a sketch overlaid on top of my base reference image, we can go into our final tip, which is going to be 
to use the lasso tool to begin to rapidly ideate on a single layer based on the sketch that I already made. I can really begin to save a lot of time if I can select my line work and then copy it in my layer and then have that as the base for future development of the idea. So I find that this is a little bit easier than let's say making a duplication of this layer and just having a bunch of layers that are in the project. In the upper left corner of my interface, I simply select the lasso tool and I really want to make sure I'm getting everything here. So I make a drawn selection and if I wanted to, I could invert it or mirror it. But for this one, we're going to use a move and then we're going to copy so that we can get at least two sketches per layer to diagram on top of and begin to really make some design decisions regarding this route. With the setup complete, now comes the fun part. Draw, design, think, and make decisions, and then critique the idea as you begin to express different gestures and approaches. Now, I personally use different colors, the same pens, but different colors, because I have a color diagramming language that helps me engage with memory in how I do my sketches and encapsulate another level of visual communication. But you can do this process of diagramming with black and white or with color or with even uh, different types of brushes. I just prefer to sketch in the clarity of simple lines and color in order to begin to really crystallize ideas. After I had finished tracing over my base graphic and making a copy so that I could have multiple iterations on a layer, I made a duplicate layer knowing that I would go through and perhaps have four schemes that I would begin to explore to see how this specific element of the design would relate to the program spaces and the landscape and other key elements within the hierarchy of the composition. So you see here, I'm exploring different forms for this specific building element and how it relates to either the landscape or the program or even the overall compositional geometry. So in summary, the good news about all these tips is that they're open to interpretation and you can employ them as you see fit. So there are times where I don't follow this as a rule I just draw directly on top of my base image and I'm going through the process of freehand thinking. When I'm designing, I like to take any opportunity I can to let my eye and my hand begin to work together to shorten the time between imagining idea and then critiquing it through rigorous iterations. In summary, you've just watched 5 tips for rapid ideation in Morfolio Trace. We started a new sketch using Google Drive. We set up our brushes and our palettes so that they were sequentially bigger or broader and quickly accessible to allow us to go back and forth between different sizes and get certain hierarchy and definition in our drawings. We sketched on top of existing drawings to accelerate the ideation process. And we made use of the lasso tool to copy sketches and drawings that we had in order to make a background for some fun freehand thinking and quick iteration. All in all, we believe this would be very beneficial for students, emerging professionals, and practitioners as you look to take your ideas from concept to construction.
We hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. If you're interested, check out more content from Studio Zarin and be sure to try out Morfolio Trace. We're confident you'll like it.